In this video, we will be assembling 30, three zero, Sonave units into what I'm tentatively calling an extended cube. I'm not actually sure exactly what the shape is called. So if you know, please tell me in the comments. If you're tired of an icosahedron, this is a good variation for sure. So you're gonna notice that on here we have the X and we have the flat side. So our first one we're gonna do flat side up. We're going to bring this tip down like this and then open it back up at about a 90 degree angle and then flip it over. And now we're gonna bring this tip up to the corner and bring it back up to a 90 degree angle. And so you're gonna, we need two of these. So I'm gonna do one more of those. So again, here's the side with the X, here's the side with the flat. So on the flat side up, you're gonna bring this tip over to the other tip. Open it at about a 90 degree angle, flip it over, and then bring this tip up. And open it to a 90 degree angle. Obviously, I have done all but one of these just for the sake of time, but this is what you'll have to do for all of them. So then these other three are going to be all the same, and I'll show you how to do that. So with the white side up, you're going to bring both tips to their respective little points. So tip to point, and tip to point. Okay, and then you're going to open it up about 90 degrees, so then you kind of get a little flat side. And so we're gonna do that to these other two. So same thing, flat side up, bring the tips to the points. I like to do them one at a time, but you do them however you like. Here we go, and one more. It's half past the hour at my house. Here we go. So now we have to assemble these into the little units. So you're gonna take one of your Z-shaped units and one of your flat side units, and here, this little line is the pocket. So you're gonna put the tip into the pocket like this. Now you're gonna take another one of your side units, right, there is your pocket. You're gonna put this tip into the pocket and put this tip into this pocket. There we go. So then over here, I'm gonna take the zigzag unit. And so this tip is gonna go into the pocket of the zigzag unit. I'll do that with the better, with better lighting so you can see. And then the zigzag unit will go into the topmost flat unit. So then you can see we have kind of what looks like a little open box. And obviously we need to put our final flat unit into place to complete this little module. So again, flap in pocket, flap in pocket, and lastly, flap in pocket. Go. There we go. And you can see I bend the little top flaps down a bit, but now we have all of our little modules assembled. So now all we have to do is put these together into our extended cube. So what we're gonna do here is here is your flap. So we're, the, your pocket, I mean, sorry, here's your pocket. So we're going to put the flap into the pocket like that. So we're gonna do that with all of these. And again, you want these to sit at about a 90 degree angle because that will best replicate the cube experience. Again, flap and pocket. And here we've kind of created a group of three. So we'll flap and pocket with that as well. There we go. I'm not sure why that one is smaller than the rest. I thought the papers were all the same size. So again, flap and pocket. Oop, don't lose your pockets on the inside of your units here. There we go. 
Let's see, we only have two left. So we'll do this flap and pocket and this flap and pocket. Now it's getting a little bit tricky. And you'll have to obviously, oop, gently, mo gently mush these together a little bit so that they'll hold. So now you can see there's a final hole and a final module to stick in. I recommend do these flaps and pockets first. So I think that'll be act a little bit easier than the alternative, but do it whichever way in the end will work best for you. And then flap and pocket. And then there it is, flap and pocket. There we go. And with that, we have our beautiful, very wonky looking extended cube. I've also seen it called a 3D cross, but again, most crosses are 3D anyway, so I don't quite get why that's called that exactly. But there you go. This is very fragile, by the way, so if you drop it, it'll probably shatter, so just take good care of it. If you want to reinforce it with tape, do so at your discretion. If yours just doesn't look exactly like mine, that's okay. If this is your first time making this, I'm sure it looks great for your first time. And as always, thank you so much for joining me.